Look out, though, for Tori Osman, the graduate from Buford, Georgia, who against Ohio State had a career-high 18. We're off and running here with Northwestern and Michigan State. Absolutely, Brian. We've been talking a little bit about in practice being on those low blocks and trying to trap whoever tries to get the ball so they can make an easy turnaround. Aaron has a three and it goes down. Their 16 year veteran head coach is out with a sickness today. So the interim, Tangela Smith is coaching as they take a three and begin. Absolutely, tonight they are just been doing what they do best, playing in Michigan State basketball. Every single time someone catches the ball, they're gonna trap. Jocelyn Tate, nice little floater there. Players always start to forget about Jocelyn Tate when she's on the floor. She's such a pesky defender, and on offense she's getting into those spots and getting to her shots. Kimball pokes it away in the passing lane. They preached active hands, did the coaching staff for Michigan State. Now they are passing the ball in a certain spots, and Northwestern is taking advantage and getting in their faces. Kimball, quick release three, rattles home. When it, gets to, when it gets down in the paint with Julia Errol, it does what she does best, and she tries to swat the ball. Freeze up and good from Moira Joyner. High IQ play to pitch it out, but Kimball misses. Osman skies for it and grabs. Joyner again. That one's good. Sinking it is Moira Joyner. She wants a team to play the way they're playing, and she's coaching them probably the same way that he would coach as well. So she knows what she's doing, and she's really helping this team keep the game close. High free throw line catch by Tate. Such a tough move. This is exactly what you want to see, to come back into a game like this and get back into the game. You have to break Michigan State's tough defense, and that's how you get it. Get into the paint, make a layup, and try to start something up. Hageman pulls it from three. She screened high, cut down low, and was readily available. That's what Michigan State talk about in practice, watching those cuts. Three, they're with contact from Hageman. Oh my goodness gracious. Lauren Ross sees the first touch inside. Osmond spins around. The reverse goes for Tori Osmond. Now 10 seconds left and Dee Dee Hageman handling for Michigan State. On to the wing. Halleck, that one spins off and goes. Turn around, jump hook there from Northwestern and Walsh. She is trying to find a rhythm. Michigan State off and running, and it's Joyner again. This one splashes down straight through the iron. That is what Northwestern really needs to start doing right now. They need to start getting into the spots and getting in the paint to try to stop some Michigan State's offense. Transition three, Kimball. Paige Mott in the game here for Northwestern. She's gone two of three thus far, and we'll see if she can provide a little bit of something here such as a Caitlin Clark of the world, who is here shaking up the landscape of what women's college hoop is. She is just so fantastic, and she really knows what she's doing on that shot. A roll to the right shoulder. Well, she does it so well. Her touch is fantastic, as she plays with ease. Crystal Wang in the game, the first year for Northwestern. She's getting checked out on the floor right now. She'll definitely be back in a little bit later, but she needs to get checked out because that'll be a detrimental scoring loss for the Spartans if that goes along. Strong, low post catch to that right shoulder again. If Julia Arrow gets the ball on that low block, we've said it again, we've seen it many times, she's going to hit that shot. Northwestern sorting it out here. Hageman. Nice read defensively there. Now outside for a three with Weaver. Three rimming off from Michigan State and Northwestern picking up the pace here. We're seeing this thing become free flowing from both sides as it's a three again. Had a second there of space but collapsing quickly as Northwestern, they turn it over. In transition, look at them get up and it gets down. Joyner grabs and pushes, dishes to Tate, now sends it back to Hageman, who lands that one. Michigan State has no numbers here, but a chance with Kimball trailing. Then Halleck, boom, that one hits. Moves it out to Robinson. Robinson off, but the buzzer sounds, and that's it for us. Today here, Michigan State elevating to 13-4, and four, drawing even at 3-3 three three in the conference.